Hello everyone and thank you very much for joining this extensive demo video to showcase how we can leverage the entire SAP build portfolio and SAP integration suite to orchestrate and enhance the journal entry approval process in SAP s hana We start the scenario with the pre-built journal entry approval and posting project coming directly from the SAP build store. Here we leverage the embedded AI capabilities to generate new process artifacts based on a language prompt. You can see that we can now simply use natural language to specify our requirements. The development environment uses large language models to understand and structure our requests and create a new process artifact completely automatically. In this case, we deploy a decision table which allows us to process journal entries with specific company codes differently. And here you can see that this new decision table has been added to the process logic. The low code, no code environment also allows us to easily generate forms applications to keep the human in the loop. This form can be modified with the required UI elements. Once a journal entry workflow has been triggered, we are going to use this form to notify the respective business users so they can review the data and approve it accordingly. But we can also leverage a pro code development environment to use SubUI5 to create sophisticated applications by an experienced developer. With the smooth combination of no-code and pro-code environments, you can establish fusion teams to include both citizen developers and pro-code developers into the development lifecycle in case you require more advanced business logic which cannot be addressed by a graphical layout designer. Once the form is being generated, we can then import it directly in SAP Build Process Automation. With the new timer event capability, we have also added a boundary timer event into the process logic. Here we can set dynamic rules to delay and initiate activities. In this case, we will send an email notification to the approver in case the process has not been reviewed after two days. From built process automation, we can directly trigger an integration flow within the SAP integration suite where we can leverage a comprehensive arsenal of connectors and adapters and integration capabilities to connect our processes to any type of SAP or non-SAP application. In this case, we enforce more advanced entity mapping and data validation and also use the RFC adapter to post a journal entry to an on-premise backend system. To call this integration flow in our process design, we are going to generate a new action. The design environment provides you several options to publish new connections easily. For instance, you can select an existing OData service, connection from the cloud or ABAP RESTful application programming model, or pre-built integrations coming from the Business Accelerator Hub. In this case, we simply select our integration suite tenant to easily retrieve all our existing iFlows, which we have generated previously. Once the action is deployed, we can go back to the process builder and add the action at the place where it's needed to post a journal entry. This provides you a native connectivity between SAP Build and the integration suite. Now let's take a look how this looks like from the end user's point of view, which is an external supplier. We start with the journal entry posting application, which is directly embedded in SAP Build Workzone. Here, the supplier has two options to either enter the data manually or to upload it from an Excel sheet. The user uploads the local Excel sheet and all the data like the entry date, header text, or the line items will be submitted to the workflow. The process will then validate and prepare the entry data and sends an approval workflow notification to a business user via the task center. 
the approver can review all the enriched context data for his accounting departments, leave a comment and then approve the entry to post the document to SAP s hana via an RFC call. An SAP build will send approval notifications via mail to keep everyone in the loop. We can also take the created document number and search for the entry in our ERP system to check if everything is done correctly. As a final step, the process administrator can also analyze the process execution via our visibility dashboard and get operational data about the process performance. Here we can filter for all the completed process instances without violations and see who has approved the journal entry in the respective process step. We can also filter for rejected process instances and do further investigation to see why a workflow is in an unprocessed or erroneous state to resolve the incident if necessary. This type of extensive monitoring and analytics allows us to get a better grip about our process execution and ensure operational excellence.